Hi everyone, welcome back to the series where we are explaining the concept of arbitrage. And in this session particularly we will be talking about a concept reverse arbitrage wherein you see a future prices are significantly lower than the underlying spot prices. And we are referencing with Indian equity markets. Let me show you a quick demo how you can find such opportunities and what is that you need to actually encash such things in real life. To do so, you have to get into a website eqsis.com. Here you find a wonderful tool by which you can do them on your own. So if you get into a section called apps, underneath you find primer. And uh, it does require you to sign into this to, so that you get a full advantage of it. If not, you get into a research tool. Underneath you get into a derivative scanner, a spot future arbitrage. So if I get into this section, as I already explained in the previous playlist that this is a very simple table gives you some information about the underlying spot price and underlying a near month which is the current month future price and you also get the percentage difference between the spot to future and likewise you will get it for the next month as well. So it depends that you wanted to play with the near month or the next month. Once you understand the concept you may have a choice to do so. But now we are talking about a scenario where the future prices are significantly lower than the spot price. In order to get it, let me give you a demo how it is. But now I see that the uh, bank nifty spot price is 39,091 whereas the future price is 39,224 that is 0.34% higher. So I don't say that this future prices are lower. That's why it is highlighted in green in color. So let me scroll down to see is it anyone got lower. Yeah, let's take an example of AU Bank. If you look at AU Bank, the spot price is 580 and the future price is 579.55. It means that AU Bank is slightly lower than the spot price, but you see that the price is just lower by 0.16%. So that doesn't give much, uh, you know, a return on investment for you to attempt this activity and there is a transaction cost involved in doing this. Let's see if there is anyone having a significant price difference. So if I keep scrolling, you can find it. But the easiest way to find them is hit this particular section. There is a sort option available here in this particular tool. Now by hitting the sort, it is giving me that uh, first it is sorting me everything in the descending order in a way that I'm getting a gale having a significant higher differences over the spot. Right? Because if you, if you want to execute this, you can buy them at 110, you can sell them in futures. But now we are talking about the, the negative differences. So now I see a stock which is LTTS, am I right? Having a spot price is 35, 34, whereas in the future price it is only 3500. So there is about 34 rupees differences, which is close to 1%. This is what precisely I'm talking about it, am I right? So this 1% differences, even in sale, SBA card, Indus Tower, try understand the fact that uh, you know these these companies are having a significant difference. In fact, we posted a video maybe about, uh, you know, a one month before highlighting a significant opportunities in Indus Interview and we did see some of our clients were able to capitalize uh, close to 10 to 15,000 rupees because we saw the differences close to 5%, am I right? And such differences got narrowed it down and we were able to, and the, since the lot size is also about 2,800, we were able to capitalize, uh, you know, quite a good uh, move from Indus Tower. Having said this, now let me teach you how you can also perform. Let's take an example. Although the differences are not significant, let me explain the concept now and make sure that you have a, a, a scope of setting an alert. Whenever such thing happen, you can make use of it. Let's first understand the concept. Now you know that the share price in the spot market is 3534. So if you go and sell it in spot market, you can make a deal at 3534. But the same you can buy back them on a future contract at 3500. So on a theoretical stance, it is true that you can sell that in spot market and buy them in future markets and you end up getting close to percent, close to 1%. In this case that uh, there is an arbitrage gains, but practically it has a difficulty because if you sell them in a spot market, you have to deliver it. So the real arbitrage comes into the picture by which you actually borrow the shares, okay, through securities and lending borrowing markets. And then you sell those shares and then you buy the futures simultaneously. And uh, by end of this month, by exercising the futures, you end up getting the shares at a much cheaper price, which is 3500. 
and then you can uh, you know return those shares that is a pretty tedious concept for a retail people to work on it maybe it is applicable for hnis who trade with a significant uh, quantities but i'm i'm not talking about someone uh, you know not a very retail guy who got about few hundred shares i'm now explaining a concept where you need to have at least uh, you know 100 um, at least thousands to 2000s of shares at least you should have a shares worth at 10 to 20 lakhs only then it is applicable but just understand the concept here assume that you have ltts shares and thinking that you want to hold the shares forever for any reason if you want to hold the shares forever okay and when you see such price you know differences there is a way you can capitalize it let's take a case there are a lot of people having a tcs shares a lot of people having infosys shares even if you tell them that go and sell share they are not going to sell those shares am i right because they they have a mindset that they want to hold the shares forever there are a lot of people holding itc there are a lot of people holding uh, reliance there are a lot of people holding a lot of companies the, the big companies likewise people must be holding ltts am i right and whomsoever owning a company called ltts make sure that you watch this particular video or even if you have any shares worth more than 10 lakh rupees make sure that you understand this way of capitalizing extra income on your portfolio what you supposed to do you anyway want to own the shares am right i agree but you sell those shares in the spot market whatever you are currently owning at the rate of 35 34 in this case i'm taking a benchmark of ltts as an example i hope this is visible to you and if you sell them at 35 34 and i'm not telling you that get away from the shares simultaneously place a buy order in the future contract at 3500 in a way by month end you will be assured of getting those shares at 3500 so you were able to capitalize that 1% gain um, you know on top of your portfolio returns because by any chance if the share price went down further even if you own the shares you would have lost it but by any chance in this case that you were able to capitalize that one percent which reduces your loss but if a market goes up still your returns gets amplified by one percent so this is an pure alpha but there is a one risk associated to it whenever you see a significant difference just don't go blind to capitalize it because by any chance if a company proposed the dividend or if expected dividend in the given calendar of that particular expiry and if it is not a significant dividend remember that the dividends are not given to the future buyers because the future buyers after all got rights to buy but you have not purchased the shares but the spot people would have got it let's say you own ltts and ltts has proposed a, a dividend of 20 rupees okay it means if you own shares you would have got the dividend but if you don't own the shares then you don't get the dividend am i right so the point is it's not that uh, I know it's easy that capitalizing that 1% if there is a dividend comes into the picture because if there is a dividend naturally this difference will be there and that natural difference cannot be capitalized by way of doing this one. But if there is a significant difference even if it is a very significant difference if the dividend yield is more then the future price even gets adjusted. So if there is a significant difference even if you don't get a dividend directly from the company use this opportunity to capitalize it because sometimes uh, the future price even gets adjusted because the dividend yield is more in that case you get a lot more benefit out of it so it's 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 wise that take advantage of it but there's one condition to it if you have just one or two shares of ltts this way of uh, encashing reverse arbitrage is not possible let me summarize the whole video assume you have let's first understand what is the lot size of ltts okay go to nseindia.com and go to LTTS, okay, and um, go to derivatives, and um, understand the the lot structure is around two hundred rupees is a kind of you know the two hundred quantities is a lot size. So if you own two hundred shares of LTTS, this is straight applicable to you, okay. Even if you have a slightly lower or slightly higher, to a fair extent it can be applied, but you need to know there is a risk involved understand the risk and do it so now what you do is you make a deal in uh, you know place a buy order in future in a way that you agree to buy LTTS shares by month end by 3500 and the beauty is you can actually go to equity markets and you see that equity markets price is 35 34 as i saw explained to you that you can place a sell order here and if you sell that that your shares are going out of your packet because you already own it 
but the shares same come to you at 3500 price by month end interestingly your capital is getting released close to 7 8 lakh rupees that can even yield an extra uh, you know and that can even compensate a bit of the transaction cost so this is perfectly suitable for someone who's already owning shares but Morgan, I don't own LTTS. You may be owning Sale. Am I right? Sale is a very good company. A lot of people are owning it. And we saw that a lot of people were owning Indus and in, in Tower and the shares even heavily tanked. And you see that SBI cuts. There are a lot of companies. But what if, if you specifically own a company like TCS and wherein you have to be informed? That is where that alert systems are very powerful. So this is called high discount alerts. If you hit the button, you can select a company, you can, you can make a point. I will be explaining how to handle the alert system, not only for the discount method, but also for the premium methods in the upcoming video. So this video objective is to make you understand the concept of reverse arbitrage and for whom it is applicable and uh, what are the risks that are associated. Hopefully it has been explained nicely in this video. But if you have any question regarding this, you can ask the same question in the below comment section. And if you find this video was good and if you are fairly new to our channel, do subscribe us and make sure that you check out the prior videos as well so that you get things right from the scratch. And we will be adding a lot more videos in the playlist which are connected with the concept of arbitrage. Going forward, we have a plan of talking about synthetic futures. We will be talking about I mean, synthetic future to the future price and uh, between put call parities and there are a lot of ways by which you can take arbitrage. We will be explaining all the concepts which will be lined up in this playlist. See you in the next video.